In this video, we will show you how to create the magic vision effect from the movie Everything Everywhere all at once in Wondershare Filmora. First, open the track manager and add 14 tracks. Next, drop the green screen clip onto track 9. Shoot your hand in front of the green screen, and then apply the chroma key pro effect to your clip from the effects panel. In the effects settings, expand the chroma key settings and select the green color to remove it. Adjust the color range, sensitivity, smooth key, and erase build to get the desired effect. Check your clip and make any necessary changes if required. Apply the tint effect to the clip and select a dark skin tone color. Change the tint to negative 44.7, saturation to negative 12.5, and adjust the brightness as needed. Then apply the tint effect again, but this time select a light pink color. Change the tint to 18.8, saturation to 39.8, brightness to negative 7.3, and add film grain at 8.9. Next, apply the soft focus effect and change the blur to 47 and set the mix to 25. After that, apply the BCC fog effect and set the brightness to 64.6 and blur X to 75. Adjust as needed. Now drop the main clip onto track 8 and keep it for 4 seconds. Select the hand clip and change the scale to 88.8. .8. We will fix the gap later. Select the main clip and go to the color panel where you can change the brightness to 6.3, contrast to 50, vibrance to negative 15.6, and saturation to negative 1.6. Go to the curve panel and adjust the alpha curve as needed. Next, apply the soft focus effect again and change the blur to 7 to create a camera blur effect. Finally, place the playhead at the start, go to the mask panel, create a mask behind the fingers, add mask keyframes, invert the mask, go 10 frames further, place the mask behind the finger, and make the mask follow the finger until the end of the clip. Add the evilmaskman.png to track 4 and keep it for 4 seconds. Next, add the eye image to both track 3 and 2 and keep them for 4 seconds. Then, place the playhead at 2 seconds and 19th frame. Hide all clips above track 2, select track 2 image, and change the Y position to negative 66. Next, select the track 3 image, go to the mask, and create a mask on the pupil. Hide track 2, and after masking, unhide track 2. Now go to the basics and add a keyframe at 3 seconds and 2 frames. Then change the size of the pupil and adjust its position. At 3 seconds and 10th frame, reduce the size of the pupil and adjust its position. Add an adjustment layer on track 5 and apply the BCC halo effect. Go to the settings and change the blur X to 63.5. Uncheck blur gang and set the blur Y to 95.2. Then expand mist and change the brightness to 100 and blur X to 49. Next, select the evil maskman.png and give it a bluish tone. Apply the glow effect on the maskman.png and change the radius to 2 and the opacity to 47. Adjust the layer opacity accordingly. Go to the stickers and under film stock, apply lens flare 20 on track 6 and keep it for 4 seconds. Change the scale to 17 and place it on the right eye. Then copy it and duplicate it on track 7 and place it on the left eye. Next, unhide all the clips and apply the S-Log 3 effect on track 10. Change the opacity to 40 and then apply the auto enhance effect. After that, apply the Sharpen effect and change the strength to 51. Apply the Active Camera effect. This will add another camera which you can use to adjust the clip. Change the Horizontal to 2.4, Vertical to 100, Rotation to 0, and Crop to 21.1 or adjust it accordingly. Then change the Rate, Jitter, Hold and Blur to 0. Finally, apply the Cinema 21 by 9 effect and change the height to negative 0.2. Now let's render it to see the final preview. If you're interested in more creative editing, check out filmora.wondershare.com.